What if I told you that less than 1% of all interstellar objects we've ever detected are confirmed and one of them just pulled the greatest vanishing act in human history? I'm talking about something weighing 33 billion tons. It vanished from NASA's radar right in front of our eyes and nobody knows where it went. Stick around because what happened next is going to blow your mind. Right now, at this very moment, we are standing face to face with something that no one at NASA truly saw coming. The interstellar traveler known as 3i Atlas, the third confirmed visitor from beyond our solar system, has done something that shakes the very foundations of everything we thought we understood. It didn't slowly drift away into the darkness, fading quietly like countless other objects before it. No, it vanished, clean, sudden, and absolute, right after reaching perihelion. The critical moment when it came closest to our Sunday One instant, it was a precisely tracked 33 billion ton traveler racing through space. The next, it was gone. No trace, no signal, no reflection, nothing. You know, our most powerful instruments were waiting for this moment. Telescopes were aligned. Data streams were ready. This was supposed to be the point of maximum visibility when solar radiation would make 3i Atlas blaze across the night sky like a beacon. Instead, what astronomers saw was the opposite. Empty space, you know. And here's the truly unsettling part. This wasn't some random disappearance lost in the noise of cosmic background. It happened exactly at the moment everyone predicted the object would reveal its strangest behavior, a moment we had circled on calendars, calculated to the second. You know, for months, scientists across the world studied its speed, its trajectory, and its strange hollow structure. This hollow aspect has been the biggest puzzle. Early radar albedo readings suggested it wasn't a solid chunk of rock or ice. The density was just wrong. It was massive, 33 billion tons, yet it seemed to have significant internal voids, almost like a metallic scaffold or a porous, airy structure, unlike any known comet. This anomaly meant it reacted to solar pressure in ways that defied traditional models, making its sudden disappearance even more baffling. It wasn't just what it did, but what it was that didn't add up. They watched as it behaved like nothing natural should, and then at the peak of observation, just as its mysteries were supposed to unfold, it slipped away, as if it had chosen that moment. You know, 3i Atlas didn't simply, 3i Atlas, uh, didn't simply pass us by, it outmaneuvered our gaze. It disappeared on its own terms, leaving the best instruments humanity has ever built, staring at nothing but the silent void. And that silence is louder than any signal we could have hoped for. You know, October 29th, 2025, that was the day scientists had been waiting for. The day 3i Atlas would reach its closest approach to the sun, sliding just inside the orbit of Mars. This wasn't just another checkpoint on a chart. This was the test, the one moment when every telescope on Earth and beyond was locked in, waiting to witness something extraordinary. When any ordinary comet gets that close to the sun, the rules are simple. The heat and gravity tear it apart, sending debris and glowing tails sweeping across space like cosmic fireworks. We've seen it happen countless times, but 3i Atlas didn't follow those rules. As it swung behind the sun, entering that brief, predictable blackout window, scientists prepared for the object to re-emerge on the other side. Brighter, wilder, maybe fragmented, but definitely there. You know, except it wasn't. You know, the James Webb Space Telescope scanned the exact coordinates where it was supposed to appear. Ground radar systems stretched their signals deep into the void. The European Space Agency's tracking arrays locked onto empty space. 33 billion tons of matter moving at incredible speed had simply vanished. You know, at first, scientists considered the obvious. Maybe it had shattered completely, reduced to a cloud of dust too faint to detect. But comets that die leave fingerprints, expanding debris clouds, dust trails, fragment paths. And this time, nothing, not even the faintest shimmer. You know, this wasn't a glitch. This wasn't a miscalculation. This was something else entirely an event that unfolded not in chaos, but in precision. 3i Atlas disappeared exactly when it was hidden by the overwhelming glare of the Sunday, exactly when the world couldn't watch, you know. And that is why this moment haunts astronomers. It didn't just vanish into space, it used the sun as a shield, disappearing in the one window when we were blind. When a natural object breaks apart, it leaves a trail, 
a cosmic breadcrumb path that tells the story of its destruction. We can track debris clouds for weeks, sometimes even months. Dust lingers, fragments drift. Space doesn't erase things that easily. But with 3i Atlas, there was nothing. No dust signature, no cloud, no fragment glimmering faintly in the dark. The Hubble Space Telescope can detect objects smaller than a city block at enormous distances. If 3i Atlas had shattered, even the tiniest pieces should have shown up in those scans. Instead, the data came back blank. A clean, sharp absence where 33 billion tons of matter should have been moving at precise, predictable speeds. Then came the second possibility. Maybe, just maybe, there had been a miscalculation. Maybe the object had emerged from behind the sun, just not where anyone, anyone, expected it. But here's the problem with that idea. This trajectory was calculated with surgical precision. For months, multiple observatories measured its speed, position, and acceleration to the tiniest fractions. They accounted for the pull of every major body in the solar system. They factored in the pressure of solar radiation. They even corrected for relativistic effects. The error margin was smaller than a grain of sand in an ocean. To lose it entirely would require a change so massive that no natural process could possibly explain it. This was not a case of the math being wrong. The math was flawless, which leaves us with something far more unsettling. The object itself changed the story. It didn't drift away. It didn't shatter. It didn't fade. It moved. Or it made itself unseen in a way nature simply doesn't do on its own. And that single fact has scientists whispering what they rarely say out loud, 3i Atlas isn't just another comet. It might be something different. There's a moment in every close solar encounter when the geometry of space and light creates a kind of cosmic blackout, a gap, a place where, from Earth, even our most powerful instruments can't see what's happening. 3i Atlas passed through that gap like it had been waiting for it. You know, as it moved behind the sun, it entered the deepest part of the solar gravity well, the place where a small push can rewrite an entire orbit. And this isn't science fiction. It's, it's a real and well-known principle called the Oberth effect. When something applies, thrust at its fastest point, right at the bottom of a gravity, well, that small burst of energy turns into a massive trajectory change. If 3i Atlas had any form of propulsion, even something modest, that single moment near the sun would have been the most efficient time to use it. A gentle nudge there could have redirected it toward the outer planets, or into a stable orbit around the sun itself, or sent it somewhere we haven't even thought to look yet, you know. And here's the haunting detail. The disappearance didn't happen randomly. It happened at the one time when anything extraordinary could unfold without being seen. No telescope could pierce through the blinding solar glare. No radar could trace its movement across that wall of heat and plasma. Then, when the observation window opened again, it was simply gone. Not slower, not dimmer, gone. It's almost as if the object waited for that blind spot, as if it knew when the world wouldn't be watching. You know, for scientists who live in data and probabilities, this isn't just strange. It's chilling, because if 3i Atlas did maneuver deliberately in that moment, then what vanished behind the sun might not have been just a rock. Then came October 3rd, a precision flyby of Mars passing within 29 million kilometers. That's not just unusual, that's statistically astonishing. A cosmic coincidence with less than one chance in 50,000. Think about that. For an object flung from another star, randomly crossing the vast emptiness of space, to first perfectly align for a sun-grazing maneuver, and then to pass that closely to Mars. It's like hitting two consecutive bullseyes on a dartboard the size of the solar system while blindfolded. This proximity to Mars is crucial. It wasn't just a flyby, it was a potential gravitational assist or even an observation point. This alignment strongly implies the trajectory wasn't random at all. It was optimized. You know, individually, any of these details could be written off as strange but natural. But when you put them together, the pattern begins to whisper something far more unnerving. It looks less like a wandering object and more like a traveler on a planned route. Go, 3i Atlas didn't just arrive. It executed a sequence. And then, at the exact moment when all eyes were on the sky, it disappeared into silence, like a performer stepping off stage right after the final act. You know, when the object disappeared, the reaction from the world's space agencies followed a familiar rhythm. 
a rhythm we've seen before. NASA released cautious statements, choosing each word carefully, emphasizing the need for more data, more time, more analysis. The European Space Agency acknowledged the detection gap but held firmly to the safest explanation, fragmentation. And China, which had the best possible view from its Mars orbiter during the critical window, said nothing at all. This isn't the first time we've seen the silence grow louder than the signal. When the first interstellar visitor appeared years ago, certain radar data and spectrographic results stayed behind closed doors for months. The same thing happened with the second visitor. And now with 3 i Atlas, the pattern tightens again. Information slows down, reports vanish into classified channels, official voices speak softly, if at all. You know, some say it's bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. Some say it's caution. But to many in the scientific community, it feels like something else. Institutional hesitation in the face of the unknown, not because of, of, conspiracy, but because acknowledging what doesn't fit the rule book is terrifying. You know, no one wants to say the word artificial, no one wants to ignite global panic or wild speculation, so they stall, they measure, they wait. But in that quiet, something unsettling happens. The absence of answers becomes an answer in itself, right? And that silence is louder now than ever. It stretches between observatories, between agencies, between nations. A silence that suggests this disappearance isn't just another anomaly. It's a question too big, too dangerous, too uncertain to answer out loud. 3i Atlas didn't just vanish from the sky. It pulled the truth into a shadow no one seems ready to step into. I know, even after the object vanished from direct observation, telescopes didn't fall silent. They kept listening. And in that quiet sky, something subtle began to emerge. A faint, rhythmic signal hidden in the noise. Not a broadcast in the way Hollywood imagines it. No booming message. No voice from the stars, just a whisper in the background, like the echo of a passing train that no one saw. You know, astrophysicists at several independent observatories noticed it almost at the same time. A soft, repeating modulation in the reflected solar radiation, barely above the threshold of detection. Too regular to be random, too structured to be ignored. What they were seeing wasn't a simple beep. It was a complex, pulsed modulation, almost like a data packet repeating on a non-terrestrial based prime number sequence. This is key. Natural interference from pulsars, magnetars, or solar flares is chaotic or has a very different steady periodicity. This signal, however, was bundled. It appeared, ran its sequence, and then stopped, only to reappear hours later, adjusted for the Doppler shift of a rapidly accelerating object. This wasn't noise. It was information even if we couldn't read it. At first, they called it an instrumental glitch, but the pattern didn't fade. It persisted for days, then weeks, bouncing between frequency bands as if tracking something unseen. You know, publicly, agencies said nothing. Privately, emails and encrypted messages began to move through scientific circles. A few brave researchers admitted what others were afraid to say. Dot, out loud. The signal didn't match any known natural phenomenon. Not comet tails, not fragmentation dust, not cosmic interference. Something was different. Um, you know, this wasn't the kind of signal you stumble on every day. It had timing, structure, and intent. Or at least it felt like it. Some compared it to the famous wow signal from the 70s. Others whispered it might be a new form of interstellar echo, a signature left behind intentionally or accidentally, right? And here's the part that raised every eyebrow in the room. The modulation lined up perfectly with the moment of disappearance, as if whatever 3i Atlas truly was, it left a fingerprint in the electromagnetic fabric of space. A final, quiet proof that vanishing didn't mean leaving nothing behind. It meant something was still out there, just harder to see. You know, when whispers about the signal began to circulate, the official responses arrived like clockwork. NASA held a carefully scripted briefing, calmly explaining that the modulation was likely the result of residual solar interference combined with instrumental artifacts. Their message was polished, deliberate, and most of all, dismissive. The European Space Agency followed with its own statement, nearly identical in tone. They mentioned routine data irregularities, stressed the importance of not jumping to conclusions, 
and quietly shifted focus back to other missions. But what caught everyone's attention wasn't what they said. It was how perfectly synchronized their words were. Different agencies, different continents, but the same language, almost line for line, you know. Then came the silence from China again. No confirmation, no denial, just an absence that made the coordinated explanations feel even more rehearsed. Independent researchers, however, weren't buying it. A group of radio astronomers leaked portions of their raw data to private networks, showing that the pattern didn't match any known interference signature. It wasn't random, it wasn't noise, it was something else, you know. And just like that, a quiet war of narratives began. On one side, the institutions urging calm and patience, presenting polished explanations. On the other, a growing number of scientists and observers whispering that the truth is being held back, not out of malice, but out of fear. Fear of what acknowledging that signal might mean. Because if the modulation is real, if it truly came from 3i Atlas, then this wasn't just a disappearing object, it was an interaction. A moment when something out there might have noticed us noticing it. And that idea was something no agency seemed ready to say out loud. You know, behind the public denials and polished press releases, something strange began happening in the background. Observatories around the world reported sudden schedule shifts. Telescope time that had been booked months in advance was quietly overridden. Government research satellites redirected their sensors toward the same patch, dot, of empty space where 3i Atlas had last been seen. You know, no one was saying why, but the pattern was clear. Someone, somewhere, uh, still believed there was something out there to watch. You know, private observatories began noticing faint flashes of light near the original trajectory. Not bright enough to call a reappearance, but just enough to keep people awake at night, running simulations over and over. These weren't meteor trails, weren't lens flares, weren't anything that could be explained away easily. It was like trying to track a shadow that refused to stay still. You know, what they found wasn't a clear object. It was a trail, a thread of faint anomalies, each one insignificant alone, but together forming a path. A path leading away from the inner solar system, as if something had changed course deliberately, not drifting like debris, not dissolving like dust, moving. You know, agencies stayed silent, but those watching from the outside began to realize that what had started as a mystery might no longer be a single object. It was now a phenomenon, rippling outward in ways no one had prepared for. 3 eye Atlas may have vanished from sight, but its presence had only grown louder. It was no longer just an object. It had become a message in motion. 